There, King Epidus met his doom, as decreed by the gods, for he had unwillingly killed his father and married his own mother. Epidus died a beggar and exiled after gouging out his own eyes. He left behind in Thebes two sons and two daughters. One son, Eteocles, having seized the throne, his brother, Polynices, raised an army and attacked Thebes. During the combat, two brothers met each other and killed one another. Of the house of Epidus, only Ismene and Antigone survived. Antigone was bethrobed to Haman, only surviving son to the new king of Thebes. Ismene, dear sister, have you heard King Creon's edict? Do you know his hateful plan against her beloved death? Our beloved death? No, Antigone. I have heard nothing, not seen our brother die. Look, Esmene, Creon is planning a hero's funeral for Eteocles. The Polynices, just as clearly dead, is to be left unburied and unsung. His body, a feast for hovering vultures. Whoever dares disobey shall be stoned to death. Prove your nature is as noble as your blood. Poor sister, what is there I can do? Think whether you will agree to help me. In what? What do you mean? To bury Polynices, of course. Oh no, has Creon banned that act? I'll do my duty to my brother and yours as well. I won't be caught betraying him. But it would be ruined to ignore King Creon comment. Yes, but he has no right to keep me from what's mine. Women are helpless to against men. We must accept the trials, and even worse, the dead will forgive my frailty. But to defy the kings is beyond me. If you beg me now, I would no longer allow you to help. I'm going to do it, and I leave the choice of sacrilege to you. Never, but I cannot battle the whole state. Be safe then. I am so afraid for you. You don't need to be. Fear for yourself instead. The gods have brought us safe to ports. I know your allegiance to the royal family to Epidus when he was king, and after his death, your devotion to his sons. Now both are dead by their hands, killing each other with their own hands. As their nearest of kin, I have the throne of Thebes. You cannot know what there is in my mind or heart until you have seen how I govern. But there is no king who, knowing where his duty lies, fails to take any action whatsoever out of fear or is more loyal to his friends more than his country. I swear to you by all seeing Zeus, I shall never turn away from trouble. My country's foe is always mine, for our land is our only heaven. Losing it, we are losing our family and friend as well. These are principles I'll use in order to protect our state. Only one of the brothers, Eteocles, shall be buried with every honor due to the noble dead. But this brother, Polynices, who killed his brother and enslaved us all, I forbid you to honor him even in death. That is my command. My lord, someone buried Polynices' body. It was covered over with ritual dust. Who would dare? There was no way to tell them. No sight of spade, no trace of anyone. We were stunned, terrified. Money is man's deadliest device. You will be punished unless you find the culprits. But I did no wrong. Unmourned, unloved, unwed, I take these last steps.